Good afternoon, folks. So I wanted to get a short video of the sky. <clears throat> we have we have some fast, fast, fast moving clouds, as you can see here. They're just flying by. Use that tree as a reference. And the winds are picking up. And we're supposed to have, I guess we're supposed to have quite a bit of rain over the next few days here. And it's been raining here the last hour or so. It's coming down pretty heavy, or was. And right now it seems to have let up. But um, <coughs> I had to run some errands today, and I meant to bring my camera. But I forgot it at home. But the ride from where I live, which is near to Belfast, Maine, to Augusta, Maine, which is about an hour ride for me, where I was running my errands, uh, the whole ride, the you could see all the manipulation in the uh, clouds. You could see the um, electromagnetic wave patterns, the lines, the parallel lines, um, all running through. Um, and it, at the time. It was a thinner layer, you know, it wasn't haze, it was thicker than that, but it was a thin layer of cloud formation. And uh, it was the complete sky was filled with the manipulation. And I knew, you know, having heard that we're supposed to get this weather for a few days and seeing that, that uh, we were probably in for some, some pretty serious weather. Um, you know, we got some pretty aggressive winds starting up here, and the grounds are already saturated. So my guess, and they're already calling, they're already saying that we're going to have power, you know, a lot of power outages. And I'm looking down the side of the road, and I see some trees that look like they've already been falling. There's one right there. On the side of the road. There's one there. I mean, I don't remember seeing these trees. I suppose it's possible that some of them could have already been there and, and fallen over, but uh, not all of them. I mean, there might have been one, maybe two. And there's, there's one up there, too. It's falling over. It's not a branch, it's a treetop coming out there. In any event, <clears throat> one, maybe two of them were laying over, maybe earlier. But uh, no, these, uh, the rest of them have fallen over. And there's one right there leaning, too, actually. Where is that? Right. Right there, next to that dead one, kind of see it right there, right there. So, <clears throat> yeah. So I wanted to show you that and show you the clouds, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, I use that cloud word very loosely. So, you know. If you want to put a uh, man-made or a fake, see that wind? Probably, that was probably a gust of at least 30 plus miles, maybe 40 miles an hour. <laughs> so, if you want to add the word, you know, fake in front of it, or man-made, or, you know, whatever, whatever term works for you then yeah but uh, the only term I guess I wouldn't agree with if someone wanted to use would be real because <laughs> they aren't I mean they're real in a the sense they have moisture in them and they put out produce rain and you know whatever maybe thunder and lightning who knows I don't know yeah in that sense sure yeah but uh, in any other sense natural sense no so I wanted to mention that, and then I also wanted to mention 
and, and it's this is a question as well um, so I was down at Sam's kind of been out in the public all day I was at Walmart first and then I was at Sam's look how fast those clouds are rolling by um, and you know I was probably in these stores for a combination of two or three hours I guess probably three hours and the last 15 minutes of my shopping and uh, what I was doing I was lightheaded nauseous um, you know my stomach was just spinning and I just overall I was achy overall I just didn't feel good and I'm still it's still lingering in me right now believe me you know I get like kind of almost like it feels like a tension headache right now tension running up my neck <clears throat> but I started to feel better as soon as I got out of there now I know I know that the shedding the V shedding is a real thing at first I wasn't sure and I definitely questioned it but I definitely know it is it's a real deal it does it does shed no doubt about it <clears throat> so my question to you folks other than telling you that my personal experience and I've had other experiences and I've also had friends that uh, have had, had issues recently that they've been talking about and the symptoms line up to anyhow um, I wanted to ask you if you've had any of those experiences if when you're out in public for an extended period of time around people who have you know have definitely gotten the you know what in their arm you know and I'm gonna go with at least 50% of people in public that you're near have gotten that or more I'm sure it's more but let's just go with 50% so we are around it 100% of the time when we're out in public but have you had any symptoms symptoms that you didn't have before um, you know when you're out you know and only when you're out See, I, I live in the country here I don't get out often you know purposely honestly I, and, and I'm a homeboy anyhow I've always been a homeboy I love being at my house I love taking care of my animals <clears throat> which I'm definitely gonna have a lot more here soon you know I love working on my property and clearing the land and you know soon soon to be gardening and and uh, taking care of a lot more animals but that's just me I, I enjoy that I enjoy being home you know especially now that I'm getting older you know the backside I guess you could almost say of middle age um, in any event so I don't go out often so when I do go out I feel more and more lately I feel these these things so um, you know what's your experience have you noticed this slightly what symptoms have you had you know do they seem to subside after you're out of the public um, you know the whole nine yards so any information to correlate my own experiences and experiences of other people I know would be greatly appreciated <clears throat> even even chest pains and palpitations and stuff like that you know I've been, I've been having stuff like that twitching you know something I've never never had before you know at first when it first started here a few months ago the twitching I was kind of attributing it to something else in my life that's recently happened an experience that I you know had um, and maybe maybe that's a contributing factor and maybe it's the whole factor but I don't know. I don't know now, you know, because that that twitching, them tremors, that's that's definitely one of the uh, symptoms, you know. So it's got me wondering, <clears throat> you know, people with the chest pains and the, the heart issues and what have you, you know. <clears throat> so anyhow, it's got me wondering, and I'm just curious if any of you have had these similar things going on. Um... You know, just listening to other 
a handful of YouTubers that I listen to talk, they've talked about their own experiences lately not feeling well, you know, and uh, some of them are kind of relating it to that being a possibility, and some of them just don't know, you know, maybe there's something else going on with their health, so, you know, just think about it, think about it, you know, really think about it, and uh, let me know, let me know what's going on out there, you know, I know that I'm not going crazy, I know that there's shedding, you know, I know, it's just, it would be nice to correlate it with other people, as many as possible, so yeah, please leave a comment, and uh, you know, if you've made a video and you've talked about it, even better yet, leave a link, I'd love to watch it, so, or if you watch any other videos where people have talked about it, you know, leave their link, you know, and they've had this happening, so, anyhow, this is getting to be a long one, so I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, you all stay well, as well as you can, you know, and stay safe. And I'll talk to you in the next one.